Hello and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is a series on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in the shortest space of time. Today in this episode, we shall be focusing on mitrostenosis. Recall that mitrostenosis is a valvular lesion resulting in narrowing of the opening of the mitral valve. And recall that the mitral valve has a normal surface area of about 46 centimeters squared and the mitral valve found on the left side of the heart between the left atrium and the left ventricle has an anterior and posterior leaflet, fibrous annulus, chordae tendinae, and papillary muscles. Causes of mitrostenosis include rheumatic valve disease, which is the most common cause, calcifications, autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, carcinoid syndrome, mucopolysaccharidosis, endocardiofibroelastosis, and some congenital issues. You may also have clinical features such as symptoms including shortness of breath or fopnea, paroxysm nocturnal dyspnea, hemoptysis, which is often due to bronchial vein rupture due to pulmonary hypertension, pink froth sputum, which is due to pulmonary edema, fatigue, atrial uh, fibrillation, which is seen in 50% of the patients that may present with palpitations and an irregularly irregular pulse. You may also have embolic phenomenon that may present with stroke, features of right ventricular uh, failure symptoms, and also hoarseness of the voice, which is often due to recurrent laryngeal nerve compression. Signs include a mid-diastolic murmur heard best at the apex with the bell, which follows an opening snap in early diastole. You may have a loud S1 heart sound, a tapping apex beat, mala flush, and some signs of right ventricular failure. Complications of the condition include left atrial enlargement, pulmonary hypertension, right ventricular failure, tricuspid or pulmonary regurgitation, and infective endocarditis. Investigations include an echocardiograph, which is often diagnostic of the condition, an electrocardiograph, which may show you atrial fibrillation, and a P-mitrally if it sinus rhythm. This is going to be manifested as a bifid broad P-wave due to large left atrial, as well as right ventricular hypertrophy may be seen on the ECG. Chest X-ray may show an enlarged left atrium, which may manifest as a double right heart border and some valve calcifications may also be seen. When it comes to the management, it may be medical or surgical. Medical management includes anticoagulation if the patient is in atrial fibrillation or they have signs of prior thrombi by formation. Diuretics or long acting nitrates can be used for patients with shortness of breath as well as beta blockers or rate limiting calcium channel blockers can be used to improve the exercise tolerance. You should also perform annual echocardiographs on this patient. Surgical management is is indicated for patients who have severe symptoms and those that have complications. This includes valve repair as well as valve replacement. Thank you for spending your time to listen to this video on mitrostenosis. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon to receive notifications of such videos every time I post. Drop a like, drop a comment to Zambia and beyond. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.